In this demo, we're going to see how to use SCT to migrate from Postgres EC2 instance to RDS MySQL. The source is Postgres, and the target is RDS MySQL. Before that, let me show you some of the features of SCT. So let's do that. You just click on the file and then you click on new project to basically initiate a new project for the migration or open an existing one. You can do either of those. And then the new project wizard. This is the wizard that helps you to easily convert. You can choose basically the source engine. Let's say you want to migrate from Oracle. So you can select Oracle. Then you select that and go to the next page. It will connect to the source and then choose a schema. I'm not going to do those here. I just wanted to show you how you can use a database migration wizard here. Also, I discuss memory parts. Here it shows at the bottom the used memory free memory, total memory, maximum memory. This is very helpful to see how much memory is being used. Let's go and click on file, click new project. Here you can turn the project name, whatever you want. I'm just leaving it as project two. And then you can actually select the source as Postgres here. Let's do that. And the target is RDS for MySQL, like we discussed before. Once you select that, the next thing is we're going to connect to the source and then the target. Let's go ahead and connect to the source. I'm going to use this IP address here. That's the IP address of Postgres instance. This is the IP of Postgres. I'm going to use this user and the database we are trying to migrate is called Chinook. It's a sample database. I already gave the permissions for the user. This is the user that we will be using for SCT. I gave all the permissions on the database Chinook but you need to decide on which privileges you want to actually assign to the person that you have. You can just give limited privileges for security purposes. This is just a test scenario. I gave all the privileges, but refer to the manual and just give the limited privileges that are needed. All right, let's go back to the screen. And then here, the database name will be Chinook. And the username is dbadmin1. Password, whatever password you want. Um, here we go. Once you enter this, you just want to test the connection to make sure that it's saying that the SSL is better and you can actually configure the SSL. This is just a test case here. I'm just accepting the risk and can cool. The connection is successful, which means that we have everything ready for the source database. You can also store your password for reuse if you want. Just click OK. OK. It generates a layout of the source database here. You can see that there are about 11 tables and all these things you see here. If you want to generate an assessment report, like for instance, you can just create the report. It's trying to create the report here. Now this is the assessment report it created. And it says in the executive summary, we're trying to migrate from Postgres to RDS MySQL. 
And as you can see, a lot of them are red. Earlier in theory class, we saw that all are green because we are doing it from my sequel to my sequel. But here we're doing it from Postgres to my sequel. You can see that there are lots of things that need to be changed. You can actually change it here. You can also save it to a PDF. Let's do that. I will hit save the PDF. And then I select the one I want. Then yes. It opens that report now. Once you store it as a PDF, here down below, it gives all the information. It doesn't support type tables. And these are the tables that need to be converted. It also gives the issue code and the number of occurrences. This is the sample report and it's a simple database. In real time, you have hundreds and thousands of objects and you can have multiple issues in this report. This report is very helpful to assess how complex your schema migration is going to be. Just read this executive summary and then it says we completed analysis and estimate that 8% of the database storage objects can be converted automatically with minimal changes. Only 8% can be converted with minimal changes. The others need a lot of conversion hours. Also, it says to complete the migration, we need 11 conversion actions, ranging from simple tasks to medium to complex. And it actually says 11 objects. The 11 objects are listed here, but this is a simple database. In real time, we have a lot of code, right? But you can imagine how much work is going to be to convert your schema and code for a complex database from this. Wow. So let's go back to SCT. Here I haven't connected to RDS, so you can also connect to RDS once you do some initial schema migration. And then basically, do a comparison or conversion. You can do that. Just do a test connection. Okay, accept that. And we're good. Okay. Now, we're gonna let this finish. Okay. All right, that's good there. And now enter file. All right, let's do that right here. All right, down here, okay. We are also connected to the target database, which is MySQL. We can actually go to the main view this is the main view here, where on the left side is a source and on the right side is the target. Here you can see that these are marked in exclamation red, which means they need to be converted. So when you see red, it means that a conversion is needed, okay? In the next screen, this is the MySQL target. So you don't see Chinook here, right? There are only the other databases. Let's try to do the conversion. Let's see what it's going to do, okay? Like I said, conversion via SCT can only convert a little bit to a certain extent and can't be used completely. It's saying these objects may have already existed in the target database place. Here we go. You did something, but do you see that database? I don't see that database here. Like I said, 
you can try to convert, but it doesn't do it for some cases. For some cases, you can do it and others you can't. Let me go to the actual MySQL and see if it actually converted. All right, let's see here. So I'm trying to log into MySQL RDS instance. And it's going to give show databases. So let me work that out. All right, let's do that right now. You don't see Chinook in the database. Actually, the conversion part doesn't work completely in some cases. And we're going to look at and troubleshoot why the conversion didn't work in a separate class. That's how you can use SCT to compare Postgres and MySQL and do an assessment. I can also do a similar way for Oracle to Postgres these days. Some people are converting Oracle to Postgres SQL, and you can also do that. And there are lots of supported engines like SQL Server, Oracle, etc. DB2. You can do all different types of combinations there. See you in the next video.